Hello there lovely people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. How are you all doing? Today it's uh, Independence Day in Bangladesh, 26th of March. So I would like to uh, say happy independence to all Bangladeshis all over the world, all over the globe. Uh, hopefully you're standing tall and making the country proud. So today I have three episodes for you. Uh, uh, the thing is like I'm using this angle today because uh, the weather, the humidity is very, very keeping me very, uh, I mean, not letting me be fully 100%, but you know, I would like to continue my journey with fragrances. So first fragrance review today, it's gonna be uh, uh, not sample. This is an official uh, decant review, uh, not official, like a decant review. Uh, and this is a gift from one of my brothers. Uh, his name is Anaf Tamid Bhai. Uh, he is one of our fellow Bangladeshi, our admin in the group in Fragcom Bangladesh, as well as he's the owner of a page called Anosmia. So he is also a fragrance reviewer on YouTube. So in many ways I know him and uh, we are very best of friends, uh, if I may say so. Very kind uh, human being and one of the most awesome dudes I ever met. So basically he sent me two of the samples. I have covered the first one. This is the second one and this is Comme des Garçons Copper. Okay, Copper. So one uh, thing I would like to tell you, these I think are 10 ml decants and they are very premium products. I'll leave the link below. If you're in from, if you're from Bangladesh, you can order these. You can collect it from their page. A very trusted source. They have a lot of fragrances, genuine uh, designer niche. So you can get this. Second thing I would say, these, uh, the, the whole, uh, the, I don't know if it's a coincidence or not, but this atomizer is color of copper. So it goes with the name, very brilliant of him. And then uh, thank you so much brother for sending me this very kind of you. He is at the current moment in UK uh, for his uh, study purpose, I believe. And this is pre-sprayed on the paper. So I'd like to uh, tell you, I've been testing this fragrance for a very long time. These are kind of fragrances I do not review in a couple of days because these are kind of complex, okay? And I'm accompanied by my uh, trusted tea. In Bangladesh, currently it's uh, morning time. It's kind of a uh, cloudy, breezy, but at the same time it's humid. So walking is kind of a bit more challenging in the morning. So I'm a little bit tired, so I'm gonna speak slow and have my tea as I go. All right, so Comte Garçons, as far as I know, it's a bit more premium house. Their fragrances, the bottles are really beautiful. I'll put a picture of it in the cover photo. And the prices are kind of like on the expensive side. I'm not quite sure how much this one is, but let me show you the presentation on this uh, decant, okay? So they have their phone numbers and everything, you know, like a nice little packaging it comes in. Okay, that's where the bottle stays. Okay, I'm just not gonna, just gonna let you read. A lot of, uh, there's the page name. Um, let me come closer, yes. Uh, so here is the atomizer, the name of the fragrance, okay? And this is one of the more premium ones you'll see, okay? Uh, when you open it, that's how the sprayer is very, very good, okay? And uh, you can take it out, actually, basically, let me try, I haven't tried this. I think you can take this out or buy right here. Yeah. You can take this out. So you can keep this in the pocket. You can carry these really nice atomizers. Let me show you the sprayer. Sprayer on this is very, very good. And uh, this is thanks to Fragrance BD. I'm using their blotter, they send me as gift. Thank you so much, brothers, okay? So let's show you the sprayer. Really, uh, it, it shoots out for a, a decant, you know, it shoots out a lot of juice and very uh, consistent, okay? So when you hear the name copper, what comes to your mind? Uh, for me, uh, it's supposedly a metal, right? And supposed to be a metallic -y smell, okay? And as far as I understand, this fragrance is supposedly evoking, okay? A kind of like a metallic sharp note as well as a green note a floral note and uh, it's a very unusual one you know this is kind of fragrance it offers very zero like minimal citrus minimal sweetness so if you are after like let's say a sweet fragrance or safe fragrance this is anything but that okay uh, for me this is a kind of fragrance very daring okay uh, it reminds me kind of like Italian leather by Memo Paris, kind of like this leather fragrances, kind of on the daring side. This is one of that. It gets compared to kind of like Sunshine Man, I think in uh, Amouage House, but, or Bracken Man, I'm not quite sure, I think, but this one reminds me a bit of like Bracken Man greenness. So I think the big floral in this, that floral called Galbanum, that's why people are confused this, confusing this with uh, perhaps Sunshine or Bracken, but I can tell you that uh, whole galbanum note is very big in this you know it's some of the older chanel perfumes you know or some of the niche style chanel perfumes have these notes of galbanum it gives evoke the feel of sunshine for me you know it's a bright sunny uh, at the same time a lot of grass around greenness okay freshness but also at the same time the florals kind of like a very aldehydic 
uh, sort of okay so fragrances like let's say poor moss you you know it, it comes to mind but minus the citrus so the metallic notes i was talking about is very big in this okay so that is the one challenging note i feel this fragrance for me you know it is not gonna work for everybody for sure this one reminds me of tom ford uh, one fragrance uh, man that fragrance was a shiny bottle tom ford no one anthracite yes this one reminds me of that but uh, oh irish 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 leather, yes, by Memo. That one, this one reminds me of. So it's definitely on the uh, daring side, definitely on the mature side, and it's not for beginners, in my humble opinion. Uh, long dividend projection for me, it's good. Uh, not top of the uh, like, like line or like the best of the all, but Comme des Garçons, their fragrances are on the usually like, uh, it's, they stay on five to six hours on me. This one is about sixth hour mark. Hmm. So for me, this is kind of fragrance, uh, what I get from this. Apart from this, maybe there's a violet leaves or uh, you can say um, something spicy. There's a mention of black currant somewhere. I, I, I don't get the black currant that much. I get the violet leaves. It's a green floral and that, you know, imagine like a very old building and next to it, there's a plant as a yellow floral flower and no one really cares for their flower. I'm not saying in a negative way, but you know, it's there, it's growing up every day, it, it grows, it looks nice, like a yellow flower, but people go past it. They don't really pick it up like a rose. Like people see rose, they pick it up, wow, it smells nice. They see tuberose, they pick it up, they smell it. But this kind of florals, they are in the huge, uh, like say a public place or among huge grass, you know, like, and there's like a old uh, metal piece lying there somewhere getting kind of, a uh, uh, you know, like uh, what you call the that you know the water catches it. Like I mean, the the metal catches the water and gives a sort of like a, a metallic -y feel with the sun. You know, so you get all those combined uh, dirtiness of it. You know, I'm like getting a little bit of a dirtiness of earthiness. You know, is there a patchouli note in there? I don't know, but basically the fragrance develops to be a little bit better after the opening is daring the dry down it's about a little bit of tobacco and i like the tobacco it's a green leafy tobacco it's very masculine old oldish mature man kind of tobacco pipe tobacco imagine like a 50 year old man wearing this that's what i see uh, like the category if you ask me that's the age range for me it's a very interesting perfume i think it will suit really well in the colder months i think tom ford noir anthracite is a little bit more interesting than this but still that one is a daring one so come the garçons copper is an interesting perfume uh, i cannot say i like it as much as uh, wearability factor i would wear rather tiorum intense a lot more frequently aqua digio this is a safer this is not a safe perfume you need particular mood for it let's be in the nature if you like to uh, go for i don't know what's that word you know like you go for rock climbing mountain climbing or uh, man early morning no breakfast just the tea <laughs> i'm a little bit slow cannot remember all the words that I, I'm trying to remember, but if you let's say go to the nature, you know, just want to spend some time by yourself, you have your hat, khakis, you know, and you have uh, your boot, you're going to be doing campfire, staying in the, you know, uh, forest for a while, reminds me a little bit of Fahrenheit for some reason, I think the violet leaves. So if you like the description, you can give it a try. I would say appropriate weather to wear this is mild cold weather, spring, autumn, fall, you know, those kind of times it will do really well. Uh, it's, it belongs in the same family as Green Irish Tweed for me somewhat, but more metallic -y. So give it a try. Definitely not uh, blind by worthy. Sample it first because these are expensive. So overall rating, I would give this fragrance, as far as my liking, I would give it a 7 out of 10. Okay. Um, this is a good creative perfume, niche style perfume, but uh, it's a daring one. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you so much, uh, Ahanaf Tami Bhai, for your amazing uh, generosity. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the review. Have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Time for next review. Bye-bye.